we'll get started. Uh, you all can see the Asanify screen, right? I'm logged in as a demo right now. Uh, before we get into the details of the session, uh, Ekta, do you want to do you want to tell us some of the details around how you guys are managing investment declaration right now? Uh, actually, uh, Gaurav, investment declaration is uh, handled by Shweta, so he's not available as of now. Okay, no problem. So I don't have much. Yeah. What I uh, maybe uh, what you can do is you can inform Shweta, and we'll obviously be sharing the recordings as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. This uh, now we are reaching that uh, that time of the year where uh, it is important that uh, all the payrolls start getting finalized by Jan, Feb, and March. Now, when I say payrolls getting finalized, it basically means that you might have deducted uh, less tax in the beginning, or you might have deducted more tax in the beginning. Whatever, uh, depending upon what investment declarations or house rent your employees have declared. So in, mm -hmm. in this session over the next 15, 20 minutes, we'll just go through how that is done on Asanify. And uh, it is important that all the final investment declarations, whatever your employees are doing, get sealed by, let's say, sometime in January. So that in case there is any extra tax to be deducted, it can be done over Jan, Feb and March payroll. And that just makes sure that, uh, uh, you know, there is no extra burden on the employees all, uh, at the end of the year. And we have three months to apportion it and uh, recover the balance tax in case somebody has to do that. Uh, Ekta, do you run the payroll uh, yourself or Shweta runs it uh, in your case? Uh, she runs the same. She runs the payroll. Uh, okay, that's that's fair. So what? Uh, in case uh, Shweta is running it, then uh, that's absolutely fine. Is she uh, running the payroll, as we all know on Asanify, is literally a click of a button from run the payroll. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. There are enough mm -hmm. video tutorials that we have put out on how to run the payroll. You guys are anyways, being, you've been doing it for a while, so you are comfortable with that. Yeah. Uh, I'll jump into the investment declaration part first. Uh, it's uh, if your employees have not done the investment declarations at all, it's important that you pass that notification to them that they must declare what the final amount is. Now on Asanify, you can make an announcement and you can send out a company level communication. You all can see my screen, I hope. Yes, yes. Yeah, you can make a company level announcement and all your employees will be notified. So you may send out a couple of reminders saying that, you know, let's say by December 15th, declare all your final investments that you have done and by january please attach the proof of it as well now sometimes what happens is your employees may have uh, paid an insurance premium which is a february or a march payment and uh, and basis that february and march payment the next payment will be due only in february or middle of march because it's an annual cycle but as an employer, it's important that we don't wait till the end of that March to recover the tax. We will take last year's investment proof. And as long as you know that in February and March, the person makes a certain amount of payment per year, then you can take that as a proof for this year also. Yeah. Now here, where, uh, when you send out the notification to your employees, what your employees have to, right now, I'm in the admin view. I'll just go to the employee view right now. So when your employees log in, they'll be able to see all the sections which are relevant for them under which the tax saving can happen. Now, this is the part which often confuses a lot of employees because they don't understand ATC, ATD, et cetera, all that well. So in this view, they'll see all the sections which are relevant to them. They will see how much amount they can select um, uh, at a, as an upper limit. And of that amount, how much has been done already. So as you can see for this particular employee section ATC, which has a maximum limit of one and a half lakhs, the employee has already declared about one lakh ninety nine thousand something. Similarly, ATD, where the limit is uh, again one lakh, the employee has declared for four point nine five lakhs already. So let me just change this view to admin. As an admin, you can select it for any of the employees, and you can see what the investment declaration has been. So let's say if I want to see the investment declaration of Rohan Jain. I can see that under ATC, only one lakh out of one and a half lakhs can be done. So if Rohan wants to save more tax, he can declare an additional 50,000 here as well. Yeah. So when your employees go to the investment section, they get this view 
where they will be able to see how much they can do under each section. So let's say section 10, how much is the rent that they are paying for the full year? This will give them the HRA benefit that they, are, uh, they may be getting. Similarly, they can declare the previous income. If somebody had joined, uh, if somebody had joined your company in the middle of the year, it, they can also declare their previous uh, income from the other employer also here so that the TDS deduction that you guys are doing will be accurate. Yeah. Okay. Now, if the employee has to do these declarations, it's fairly simple. The moment you click on any of these sections, it opens up the list of all the instruments where you can actually invest to save tax. So under ATC, I can do ELSS mutual fund, national savings certificate, infrastructure bond, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what the employee needs to do quite simply, or even you can do that as an admin on behalf of the employee. So let's say I want to declare, I've done one lakh out of one and a half lakhs. I want to declare another 50,000 as an investment. I can simply select public provident fund. Let's say I want to do 50,000 and I can simply submit. This is the declaration stage where, you know, you don't have to attach the proof right now, but you'll need to do that eventually. Right now, you are just doing the declaration and it will show that, okay, fine. Now on ATC, I've actually done the entire one and a half lakhs that I'm, uh, that I'm uh, allowed to do. Similarly, medical insurance premium under ATD. If, I have, if I'm doing self-insurance mediclaim, then I can declare the amount here. Now, we have also put a question mark icon, which will allow your employees to see the details of what is the maximum limit for each of these um, investment limits that they're investment declaration that they are doing. Yeah, that will help them abide by whatever is the upper limit and they'll know how much they can declare at the maximum. Yeah, is this clear? Uh, this, this is all that your employees have to do in the beginning. Now, once you, once your employees do the declaration, when you run the payroll, even if they have declared, they, they have declared their investments only five minutes before you're running the payroll, when you run the payroll, the system will take that into account and calculate the taxes accordingly. Yeah. This is the regular way of running the payroll that we have been doing in this entire financial year so far, right? Your employees must have declared their investments. You must have been deducting whatever tax. Now that we are moving to the end of the financial year, what you will have to do is by December end or by January, it will require a couple of rounds of reminders to your employees. So again, we'll go to make an announcement and we'll say that now is the time to finally send your investment declaration proof on Asanify as well. So let's say if I have said that I will do a, a public provident fund of 50,000, I need to attach the receipt and my passbook details of my PPF account to prove that I've actually done the 50,000 uh, investment. Now, this is important because uh, uh, as, it, as per the government laws of TDS, you are accountable for deducting the right amount of tax from the employee. And let's say if I have declared that I'll be investing 50,000, but in reality, I did only 25,000. So you are supposed to give me the tax benefit only for 25,000, not for the entire 50,000 that I had originally declared. Right. Uh, it, uh, uh, I know you would not be handling it, but this part is very important. So do reiterate to the employees uh, that this is the time where they need to finally give the exact numbers now. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I yeah. think Vin Vinod has also joined. Hi, Vinod. How are you? Uh, Vinod, you're there. Are you? I think he's still on mute. Uh, so this uh, now what you will have to do uh, come January or let's say by latest by January end, once you have sent enough reminders to your employees to finalize these declarations, what you will do is you will press this lock, uh, lock icon. Now, the moment you press this lock icon, no more changes can happen to the investment declarations that they have done. So before that, what your employees will have to do is Let's say this particular employee, Rohan, has declared 50,000 investment here. They can also upload the proof like we saw just now. So let's say when I'm declaring the amount, I can also attach the proof uh, from my hard disk as a scan copy. Or if I'm doing it from my mobile phone, I'll open the camera and click it. Yeah. Once, once enough reminders have been set for people to finally declare their investments and attach the proof, 
around the end of january is when you will press this lock icon and then uh, as an admin when you press that then your employees will not be able to alter investments at all this is important because you have to draw a cut off let's say by jan end or latest by february mid where after that feb and march will be the payroll where you will deduct the actual tax as per their final uh, investment declarations is that absolutely clear uh ekta vinod anyone yes yes yeah so once you once you have locked the investments uh, after that comes the time for also going through let's say if you are closing the changes in investment declaration by 15th of february you still have mm -hmm. 15 days before you run the february payroll use those 15 days to actually run through all the employee declarations and compare whether what they had declared is same as the proof what they have attached as well and this okay. you can do when they attach the proof you will be able to see it here and then looking at this you can either approve let's say if this employee had declared 50000 as an when you download the file that they have uploaded you can either approve the entire 50000 amount or if i look at the investment and i say that this is not 50000 ka investment this is only 25000 ka investment so although the declaration was for 50000 as an admin you can approve only 25 out of that 50000 and then this will change to uh, you see this was initially 50000 now it has changed to 25000 because that is the approved amount okay yeah so between the time i'll just repeat what i'm saying between the time that you lock the investments after sufficient reminders to your employees you should go through the proof that they have attached and either approve it or part approve it or reject it altogether So let's say for this particular employee for public provident fund, let's assume that fifty thousand, that entire fifty thousand proof has been given. So I can simply approve the entire fifty thousand here. Yeah, this is the part that you should do between when you lock the investments and the time when you are running that month's payroll. So typically, most of the companies they either do it mid Jan that they lock it, and they use the fifteen days to uh, look at the proof and approve or reject it whichever way. and once you've done that when you'll run the payroll this will become your final investment declaration and no more changes can happen the system will automatically calculate whatever is the balance tax or if there was anything uh, deducted extra or deducted less in the previous months will all get adjusted over the next 2 or 3 months yeah this yeah. part is extremely important because uh, this is where uh, this is where the final tax and when your employees are doing the idr filing they will be declaring these investments and uh, it will come in the form 16 as well yeah uh, now um, uh, we know like i don't know if you're there as well uh, right now or not but uh, uh, ekta many a times uh, companies also what they do is they are not in the habit of deducting tax in the first few months of the year I don't know if you get mm -hmm. something like this or not. Mm -hmm. uh, but in case you have not deducted tax for, for first of all, you should not do that because it's possible that the employee quits in the middle of the year, right? It's possible yeah, yeah. they just go up scolding. Then the tax mm -hmm. liability falls on the employer. So yeah. the result is always a good practice to if I'm if I'm supposed to pay let's say one lakh rupees of tax in the whole year, it's important mm -hmm. that I. deducting 8000 8000 every month not just okay. to save myself from tax liability but also the government penalties are there if you don't deduct the tax on time and pay there are those uh, penalties that the government uh, levies as well mm -hmm. yeah but now that yeah. we are at this time it is absolutely critical to finalize the investment declarations and run the payroll accordingly yeah okay the yeah. thing to note here is the employees will always take time to finally get the documents etc so start early the reason we are mm -hmm. having this session right now and not in december is so that you have enough time to send the communication do the reminder do those emails a couple of rounds of emails will be required you may have to extend the deadline by 15 days because some people have not gotten the investment proof that will be important that you finalize all of that that you uh, before 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 the mid of feb let's say okay yeah any questions yeah. on this the process itself is not very complicated but the the whole leg of communicating with the employees and getting the right documents is something that may take time mm -hmm.
any any questions anyone so far uh, vinod i think is still on mute uh, ek the any <laughs> question from your side कम्युनिकेशन विल बी इवन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑल दो नॉट टू मेनी पीपल विल बी फॉलोइंग इन द टैक्स प्लान so at least for the people where income tax is getting deducted getting all these investment declarations from them is absolutely critical yeah yeah sounds good uh, ekta any questions from you i guess not so what we'll do is this is a short session anyways because uh, you know the declaration and uh, how to handle it on asanify is one of the easiest parts uh, the important part is something that you will have to do with your employees so the uh, the focus of, for the next few weeks should be on finalizing this uh, for your uh, last 2 3 months of payroll that you'll run starting january right there are enough tutorial videos also especially on investment declaration while we'll share the webinar video separately as well but i'd request your employees and yourself to go through those specific videos and in case there are any queries you can always reach out to us okay yeah? sounds good in that case we'll keep the session short and we'll circulate sophia will circulate the notes for this at the end of the meeting Okay, Gauraji, can we have a separate call? Few clarifications, if you are free. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, let me give you a call after this immediately. Yeah. Done. Thank you. Thanks, Benoji. Thanks, Ekta. Look forward yeah, to you, seeing you guys again next week. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.